Let's talk about network profiles. Network profiles are profiles that we have in order to send down wireless settings to the mobile device. This is important because many times it's difficult to configure the wireless settings manually on each mobile device. And so having a network profile is handy and it creates a more efficient staging method and helps us to more quickly get devices up and running on the network. To set up a network profile, we follow the same beginning steps as we did for the software profile. We go to the Profiles tab on the left, and let's make sure we go down to the location we were at before. So we're at my enterprise right now. We're down in Seattle under Butler. And I'm going to show you how to set up a generic network profile. So we're going to go to Network Settings. I'm going to call this Seattle NP. And again, we've got the mobile device selection criteria here. We're going to, we're going to launch that, put model name equals WT41N0. We're going to show devices to verify it's our device. Yep, there we go. That's our device. And then down here, we can manage the WLAN settings. This is the wireless settings right here. So the SSID would go right here. Select the type of encryption. The other thing you can do within this profile is manage the server address. So if you were not using the Avalanche configuration utility within the software profile that we already set up, you can also send down the Avalanche address here as well. This can be useful when you're using scan to config. So we'll configure it this time. Again, we have 10.10.1.15 for our server. And we're going to press save. And that's how you create a network profile. Now, the important part about network profiles is that they can be connected to the scan config profiles. And I've already created one here. It's called Seattle scan config. You create it in the same ways you create the other profiles. And so I'm going to edit the Seattle scan config. I'm going to go to edit. And here is the profile that you can link it to. And we just created Seattle NP. So we're going to attach it to Seattle NP and we're going to press save. It says print barcodes. So I click on print barcodes. And now appears the barcodes that are necessary for me to scan in order for me to get my device configured to the network profile. So let's say my device broke down, lost the configuration for the wireless. I could open up Avalanche, go into scan config, scan through these seven barcodes, and then be back up on the network. Let's see what that looks like going from the device side. So if we go into inventory, We're in Butler again. We go into our WT41N0. Go to remote control. And we're going to go to view. And so the way to get to scan config on the device is you go to file and scan config. We'll say sure. And when you start scanning these barcodes, it will say you've scanned one barcode of seven and then two barcodes of seven, and it'll show you which ones you've scanned. And it's really handy. And so this is how you use scan to config and connect it to the network profile. Also within Avalanche, we have reporting. And within our reporting, we have 
some reports for mobile device inventory. You can report on your mobile device properties and some other reports that you can explore. We also can control system users. And so you can create different users with different permissions so that you can distribute the responsibilities between workers. Thank you very much for watching this presentation today. Please let us know if you have any questions about Wavelink Avalanche. Yeah.